Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a slow cooker country chicken stew. All right, so I have my pan preheating. I'm gonna add two, about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then four boneless skinless chicken breasts cut into bite-sized pieces. So we're just gonna let that cook away, get it brown, and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. All right, so now that the chicken is brown, you're gonna transfer that over to your slow cooker. And then we are going to turn the heat down a little bit in that same pan, one large diced up onion. Two pounds of sweet potato, just cut it up into maybe one inch pieces because it takes a while to cook. And one cup of baby carrot. We're gonna cook this for about four or five minutes. Oh, we went on the floor, I'm sorry. I kind of want to cook this for about four or five minutes until it gets a little bit soft. I'll come back and show you what that looks like when that's done and what to do next. All right, that's been cooking for about five minutes. So now I'm going to add about four cloves of minced garlic. Just stir that in, let that cook for about a minute or so. I don't want to burn the garlic. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to dump this into the slow cooker. and then we are going to put about two cups of sliced mushrooms into the pan. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of olive oil. And we are going to let these cook down a little. until you start seeing like the moisture come out. I'll come back and show you what I mean. All right, so now that you see the liquid is starting to kind of come out of the mushrooms, you don't want to fully cook these all the way down because they're obviously going to continue to cook inside of the slow cooker. So you're going to take a half a cup of flour, just all purpose flour. Let's put that in. This is going to be what helps thicken up the stew. And just get that mixed in. Just like that, that's perfectly fine right there. You don't want to burn the flour. All right, so that's it for that part. I'm just gonna get the camera moved over and then we'll do the next part. All right, so now I have everything that we cooked on in the pan in my slow cooker over here. Now you're gonna want one entire carton, it's 900 mils of chicken broth. So we're going to add that in. Okay. 
And then we have one can of cream of celery soup. And we need to add that into my same spoon. mix that in get everything mixed together okay. now for the spices we are going to add one teaspoon of dried rosemary and two bay leaves and I almost totally forgot, but two stalks of celery, just sliced up thin. Okay. So get, again, just mix everything in there. Make sure that your bay leaves come out at the end. We are going to put this on low and cook this for about seven to nine hours and about 10 minutes before you're ready to serve. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the final step. All right, so here it is. It's about 10 minutes before I'm gonna serve. So make sure you take your bay leaves out and you are going to add a half a cup of whipping cream. And just stir that in. And let that go another 10 minutes. Um, you can serve this with um, a side salad or French crusty bread, toasted in the oven or something. Be really good with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.